Alberto here again and I'm just creating this new tutorial to show you how to make uh, sheet music in Canva. So this is it might be a bit of a long one but this is to show you how to create sheet music from absolute nothing from scratch and how you can do and incorporate in that into your worksheets or um, music sheets. So uh, the first thing is we're going to create a design and let's just do an A4 document that will just make it easier and we'll let that load okay a bit of a slow connection here so first things first I always put my logo and everything make sure you have a logo somewhere and you can see that come up there good I'm sure you guys know how much I love Canva. I'm actually fortunate enough to teach piano to uh, three Canva engineers here in Sydney. Um, I won't mention their names, but I'm, I thank them very much for all the help they do with when I have inquiries and things that might be able to be improved. Now, let's have a look. So, first things first. What we need to do is first create our staff or stave, depending which country you're in and how you name it. So, let's go to Elements and select line and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the line and insert that and change the color to black okay and let's increase oh, we got another one there let's increase the view here okay so we want to do our stave lines and let's just make it a bit thinner so by dragging that corner all the way in we can make a line thinner and then we can extend it by doing that so let's go ahead and make our five stave lines so we need to copy that so once you've selected you just copy and paste the line a few times there are a few ways to do this so if you want the even spacing between those lines you can either select an element actually I want to put uh, some margins just to make it a bit easier you can select uh, an element such as a square and put that in between let's just do this there's many ways of doing this but I'm just showing you an easy way and uh, let's select a color so we can clearly see it and you can put that element between the lines right and then what you can do is you can just bring that down and then copy and paste another one into the position there okay better off moving towards the margin so we can have a clean nice straight line here along here and you can do, keep doing that or you can just copy for example and copy the whole selection copy and paste that or duplicate for example here I just use control paste on my keyboard and see how I'm overlapping one of the lines there see I'm overlapping on another one that will give me even distance in however that middle line I make sure I delete the one that was overlapped good so now we've got our stave and what you would like to do next is probably add a, add a clef or some bar lines let's just add a n bar line for example now if you want to increase or decrease the size as possible you select all of it and you can decrease the size of the stave yeah and then you can extend you might have to do it one by one so let's just let's do that uh, it's fine we'll just go back to a bigger one we'll do that a bit later so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a end bar line so we'll take one of these bar lines shrink it back down and let's maintain our normal bar lines so just our single bar lines let's just rotate that to 90 degrees and let's add that to the end here let's zoom in because it's all very nice to see that we've got nice and clear even uh, finishings here so it's touching those lines so good we've got one section of the end bar line now what we need to do is we create the thick line of the bar the end bar line so we put a line there and you can either drag it out like that and place it in and then you can just shorten it that's one way or you can just do many copies of it so let's see how it's not nice and evenly placed let's just make sure we've got it nice and even so sometimes a bit hard but that's all right or you can use a mouse but sometimes you can actually use your arrows on your keyboard ah that's good enough 
All right, so next thing is we can actually add some symbols. Now, Canva has some musical um, uh, symbols. However, uh, I've created a set of PNG files you can use to insert, um, let's just extend this all the way here, insert and create your sheets. So there's notes, there's rests, there, there's even bar lines, clefs and all that. And you can download that from my Teachers Pay Teachers store. And you can use that in your worksheets or sheet music with Canva. So first things first, let's add a cliff. So I've already downloaded my pack and in uploaded it to Canva. The best thing with Canva is probably to create some folders. So you have it everything nice and neat. I've created that folder and named it Music Symbols. Okay. These are high resolution PNG files. I might create a SVG version of this soon. And you can see here how I've got all these different musical terms and symbols here. Rests, notes, um, dynamics, etc. We've got bar lines up and down. Yeah, good. So let's We've got some key signatures there, fermates. So let's add a treble cliff. So we've added the treble cliff. Let's resize that to the size that we want. And see how it's a bit bigger than what I probably need, just to make it easier, because Canva's a bit funny with layers. Let's just crop that and just crop it down to the size of almost the image file, good to make it easier to manage. So we're going to insert that over here. And it's a bit still too big because we want the, the triple cliff to just align that way. Uh, a bit more. And remember, I'm, I do use arrows here, so you can see me moving now with arrows um, on my keyboard. It just makes it a bit easier to place things. So, next things we would have to add, let's say, a time signature, and let's put some. Let's put a common time signature in there. Okay, we can do the same thing here. We can adjust and crop this. Let's do that. Okay, done. Crop that and add that in. And then can you adjust the size you want, etc. Let's just do this just to make things a bit faster. I'm just not going to try to be too perfect today. So you can add that there. If you need to add a, um, a key signature, you can do so. For example, here, just get the sharp and resize it to the size you want, and you can place it on the line that you need to create the key signature that you want. All right, so good. Now we've got this, and we want to add some measures. So what's happened here is, see it's selecting the thick line. Let's just try to select the thin line, Let's zoom in. Let's see if it allows me to do that. No, so what you can do is if you send it backwards, And you're able then to ah, see now it allows me to select the thin line. I'm going to copy and paste that and just keep one on the side there to make it easy for you to copy and paste. Now let's add some measures here. Let's place one kind of in the middle there. Is that the middle? Let's have a look. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, there we go. There's a kind of middle there. We'll add copy and paste again. And you can insert them wherever you want. So what we're going to do now is add some notes. And if we go back to this file pack that I have created, now you don't have to use a file pack. There, there are many symbols in Canva, or you can actually up upload your own. I've just tried to make this easier for you guys with these that I actually use them in my worksheets and whatnot. So let's just say we're going to add some notes. Let's add a... So you see they're quite big and I've made them nice and big so that the resolution maintains when you create um, PDF files. Okay, so let's have a look here. Let's resize that. You need to always make sure that you're resizing uh, the node head to the width of the spaces that you have created. Uh, and then we've got some notes there. Okay. We'll like put some other notes. Obviously, I'm just I'm just putting some random notes in. Okay, and you can find what that stamp up or down, or you can just you know flip this one around. 
Now, let's say you want to create a note on a ledger line. So, let's just select that note. Let's select one of the, our bar line and let's just shrink that down. Almost got it. There. We want to shrink that down. And then you want to place it around there. So with the spacing, I'm not sure being too neat, you can make sure that you can uh, make uh, a nice and even spacing between the lines there. And look, there we go, boom. We have got a ledger line, and that can be done on the top here. So that's another thing you can do. Oh, let's add a rest here. Oh, where's a crotchet rest? You even have some articulations there. The pack should be enough for most worksheets. However, if you do need any other symbols, just let me know and I'll see if I can create them. Uh, where is my crotchet arista? Probably didn't upload it in the pack. Uh, let's have a look here. I, I think I still have to upload that one. So, oh, it's all right. We'll just use what I've got. Oh, there it is. Oh, silly me. Sorry. Let's have a look here. Sometimes Canva takes a while to load things. Let's see. Depends on the internet connection you've got also. Let's see if it appears. Oh, there it is. There we go. And then we can just resize it and place it where we want and the correct size and whatnot. And like I said, these PNG files are great also, not just for sheet music, but if you want to create worksheets and whatnot so you can keep creating this if you need to copy and paste you just copy and paste that uh, there let's say you want to create a grand stop so let's take away that treble cliff and let's add a bass cliff okay where's the bass cliff sorry sometimes it's a bit hard to do this when you're rushing Nope, that didn't work. Let's try again. All right, there we go. So let's just resize that. Okay. Resize the base cliff to there. Let's rearrange it. Yes, you can shrink this size a bit big. The the uh, times and just be big, but it doesn't matter. Just leave it like that. Now I haven't got the brace here, but you can make your own brace. And one of the ways you could do it is first you would have to extend obviously these bar lines. I'm not yeah, you would extend these bar lines to create the full effect of the Grand stuff. Okay, I'm just showing you examples of what you can do. So let's select a font. And all you want to do is you're going to select the brace on the keyboard that you have and just find a font that works for you. There's many fonts, and you can just do something along those lines if you if you want. I'll try to create a brace symbol soon. You know, Okay, you have to just change the font to one that would work better with So well, um, it's just better to leave it as it is anyway, so I'll try to create a brace for you soon But anyway, the, the PNG files are quite Good as they are and you can use this to create worksheets um, or sheet music for that matter hopefully this has been useful uh, I'll make sure I upload some more tutorials on how to um, use Canva as we progress I love Canva I use it for all my sheets especially my resources so make sure you head over and subscribe to my channel there'll be a lot more resources for teachers um, tutorials and some help especially when they're going through this time of the coronavirus issue and uh, yeah, happy teaching and uh, hope you have some fun with Canva. Thank you. Bye-bye.